In 2007, Walt Disney Pictures attempted to create a pilot episode to appeal to adult audiences. It starred Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. The following pilot episode is missing footage, has numerous audio problems, and was never finished edited. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Jack Sparrow's Drinking Show. Hello, the audience. My name is Captain Jack Sparrow. And welcome to the pilot episode of my very first show. The Fox Network has given it to me. It's called Captain Jack Sparrow Mixes His Drinks. And I had to open the show. So, I'm going to open the show by showing you the one drink that every part of self-respected by needs to drink. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would be rum. People always ask me, Jack, why do you like drinking rum so much? It's not that I like to drink rum, mate. It's that rum likes to drink rum. So here, I'm going to show you how to make Captain Jack Sparrow's rum. Very simple. You go out to your nearest port, a place where you can buy some rum. You buy the rum. You bring it home and you sit down on the table. And then you open up the rum as such. And after you open up the rum, you drink it. Ah, the rum is not gone yet. <laughs> well, I have some other people who are going to come on the show. They're going to teach you more about mixing drinks. I'd like to welcome my first guest to the show. Her name is Virginia Williams, and she's a bartender around the corner that my producer's just picked up. So, ladies and gentlemen, Virginia Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest, Virginia Williams. So, Virginia, I've been told you're actually going to teach us how to make three drinks, is it? But before we get into that, I want to know, where do you work at? Uh, I work at Slugger Slugfest Bar. Oh, I love Slugger Slugfest. I go there every day for the hamburgers. Little tiny things, quite delectable. And I have to go there. Anyway, audience, so we're going to go ahead and move on with the uh, mixing of the three drinks, you say? Yes. Well, what's the first drink? We have all these things. I have my rum. Well, my first drink that I was going to show you was the... Caramel apple drink. This is commonly a shot, but it can be also used as a drink. So you will be using butterscotch here, butterscotch naps, and you will also be using sour apple liqueur. That sounds disgusting. Why don't we put some rum in there to spice up the thing? Uh, Please continue making your drinks. I'll just be waiting over here. Right. So what you do is that. You have these two drinks, and you can simply just pour them in together all at the same time. That sounds positively divine, love. But you know, I think maybe if we would have put a little bit of rum in there, it might just spice it up just a tad bit. Exclude the rum. Why must the rum be gone from the drink? And you pour the whole thing in there. This is a stronger drink than the caramel apple sour um, drink, and it's a pretty good drink. Many people will come and like this at the bar. Love. Though I do appreciate the company I have here on stage, I think that you're mistaking one key ingredient. You see, when I was a young lad, my father used to pull me to the side and say, Jack, Jack, old boy, everything with rum. Helps you sleep faster. So I just go ahead and add a little bit of rum. Rum all around for everyone. It's yes, delicious. Yes, rum is very enjoyable, Jack, but uh, for this drink, you do not use rum. If you would like to add rum, like Jack, then go ahead and do so, but for this drink, you do not need rum. Why is rum gone? Jim and Virginia. Vanessa Williams. Yes, Ashton. I'll be over. Yeah, that. 
Anyways, uh, for the next drink, what you will need is worthy of tequila, just like so. And so for the next ingredient, we will take the sour apple liqueur. And this drink is a great drink that we would like to call the margarita. Um, Ha 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 